now we move to the roof elevation and to do that now we use the same x line command to start x line and this time around we will not be using angle we'll use vertical first and pick this point this point and this point sorry this point we make be sure you pick the right point because if you pick the wrong point, it will affect what we are doing at this point. This point. And this point. So, this is wrong. Delete it and we trim away the necessary part here. This is also wrong with the little bit. And now, let's draw a straight line here, somewhere around here. And to serve as the base of our roof. So the next thing is we pick our X line command again. And this time around, we'll be drawing at an angle. And this is the point again where you select the slope angle you want. The 45 degree we selected as, a, as our angle for the plan, was no, that was not actually the slope angle. We just use that to draw our plan, our roof plan. So for the roof elevation now, you select the angle. This is where you select the angle you want your slope to be. So sometimes some people select 45 and some people select 35 and all those are not really economical when it comes to where we don't really have snow. So if it is an region, if it is an area or a region where there is none, so we can say we'll go with 45 or 35. But now if it is an, a region where there is no snow, there is just rain majorly. So I'll say 25 degree is economical. It all depends on what your client also wants, but 25 degree is an economical slope angle. And for this point now, you select angle 25 and start picking at this point here now. This, this, and this. So we'll repeat the process again. X line, angle, and we will reverse the angle this time around minus 25. Select this point and this point. So when we are done with this now, we now start picking. We we'll go back to our plan and pick the point where our bridges are meeting and the point where the straight line ridge meets the roof gutter. Do your X line command again and this time around vertical. Select this point, this point, this point, this point. Select this point, this point here, and this point. So we are done selecting all the points. So the next thing is we use the points to determine our elevation. So let's start from this right hand side here now. So from this right hand side here, actually this is the first point we'll see. So if it is not really clear enough, if it, if it is confusing, I will advise that we we'll give it, we we'll put it on a different layer. So sometimes Let's put it on layer 0, so that we'll be able to see clearly. And now, you can see what's going on now. So, from this point here, this point, to this point here, we have a straight ridge. So, that means you are drawing a straight ridge from this point to this point. So pick your line and from this point get it cross to this point and your trim command, 
şimdi we do extra one and this also we trim away this so the next point we are looking at is this point where these two inclined ridges meet each other so from approach now if you look at it we are going to see this ridge and it will block this recess we won't see this recess this roof gutter so we only see the top of the roof gutter which we have shown already so from there we'll see this ridge and we'll see this ridge at the top which is a, which will look like it is continuing with this ridge here now with this ridge here so and from this part we'll see this ridge which will block this roof gutter and that means we won't see anything beyond this ridge now so from here now we'll see this, this ridge and with this ridge this is higher than this so from approach when you are looking at it it will look like this is a continuation of this so let's do that now just like we explained this ridge will look at it and we won't see anything beyond it it will not continue to terminate so we'll do our trim command and select this line and trim this away so we can delete this and this since we don't have any use for them again so from this point now from this point to this point from this point to this point we have a straight line reach a straight reach so we are drawing a straight line from that point to this point here and this is where this ridge is terminating from this point this is where it is terminating and this is also terminating at this point so we trim away the lines and trim away this so we would not be needing this and this anymore we we'll delete them so from there So automatically we have shown this ridge which will block this roof gutter and we'll see the ridge, we'll see the straight line ridge and this ridge behind here. And to do that now, that means from this point to this point we are drawing a straight line and we'll pick this point here draw a straight line and trim away So we will not be needing this line again anymore. And sorry, we deleted a line, a guide that we were not meant to delete. So we need to copy this guide back to where it was before we deleted it. To this point here. So from this point here now to this point from here to here we are drawing a straight line sorry there's a mistake somewhere around here this is the ridge this is not where we are meant to cut so for this ridge now for this ridge this is what we'll be seeing this is what we'll be seeing and let's put back the guide here
that means we are drawing a straight ridge from this point to this point and that is for this ridge for this ridge and we trim it away and trim this away so so from this point here now from this point here we are drawing a straight ridge this is to show that the ridge we have at this point this is the ridge we'll be seeing now after this ridge because this ridge will cover this roof gutter so we won't be able to see it so goodness to this ridge so after this ridge which is higher than this so we'll copy this ridge to this point here now and And we can trim the wanted lines and now we have our roof elevation let's delete these lines that are not needed and trim away this So we are done with our roof elevation now. So the next thing we are going to do is also arch the faces. 